What's going on, Skid? We're on an AC call, no cooling call. They got it set to 70, and it's 72 inside the apartment. Oh, it's iced up. See that ice behind the filter there? We've got an icer. Gonna have to turn it off and let it thaw. What I do is I turn the thermostat off and then turn the fan to on. That'll melt that ice. Just another leaky coil. I got the old gauges hooked up downstairs on the condenser. So when I fire it off, I'll be ready to give it some juice. So if it's iced up good, you gotta let that ice melt. You new guys, you can't just start dumping refrigerant in there. Let's see the superheat will be, uh, or the suction will be low because there's no air moving over, over the coil because of that ice is blocking it. So you'll have airflow issues, zero degree superheat, low suction. That's usually the culprit when you got a blocked coil or bad airflow. So you gotta wait till the ice is melted. You gotta be patient. I've worked with a lot of guys who will just start dumping. Well, the, the, the coil is covered with ice, they're just dumping, going, why isn't it rising? Why isn't it going up? And then it finally melts and then they turn it back on and it's like, and shuts off on the high pressure switch. So, so be patient. Be patient, you guys. Let that ice melt. Get paid by the hour out here. All right, it's nice and thawed out. This is what I'll do when I'm on call as well, like I'm on call this week. I'll have them turn the thermostat off. Like they call and say, hey, my AC's not working. I'll say, okay, do me a favor. Turn your thermostat off and then turn your fan on. So when I'm on my way to the property, whichever property the call is at, It'll be thawed out by the time I get there and I don't have to wait through all this. Sometimes it's completely thawed out. Now some of those bad ones, when there's really a block of ice, it doesn't thaw out all the way, but most of the way. All right, let's go charge this thing up. Let me drop a new filter in. Yeah, this is one of those rotary compressors. Not a fan. Oh, this joker's real low. 81 suction, look at that superheat, 52. Got my gauges all hooked up. Go ahead and bleed the line. Get the air out. <laughs> Give it an old bump. Boop. Slowly but surely, you don't want to overdo it. Lord knows I got enough videos of me doing this. Very common in apartment maintenance. So I'm going to add it to this apartment maintenance work order video. All right, I'll just keep adding a little, little by little till it gets up to where I like it. I'll be back. Yeah, real quick, if any uh, new guys are watching, this is why there's ice on the coil. See that VSAT number? That's your saturation. Usually it's SAT just for saturation. See that's below freezing? Freezing is 32. If that gets below freezing, it's gonna be ice. So that's why these things ice up out here. When this gets below freezing, that's your saturation. That's what that refrigerant's boiling at inside the coil. The metering device, TXV or piston. So there's a little tech tip for you new guys. That's the, I always watch that number as well. If that's below freezing, below 32 freezing, you're gonna have ice. It's slowly coming up. My own call Monday. We go from Monday to Monday here where I'm at. Try to get you guys some on call shots if I can. If the resident isn't hovering too bad. Now that this is above freezing, I'm not worried about any ice. 
that saturation there. The superheat on these uh, rotor compressors is always high, man. I don't know if it's 200 bad TXVs along with 200 bad leaking coils or what. But I didn't build a place. I'm just playing the hand I was dealt the best I can. All right, big dog, we got a 12 degree subcool. And as you can see, man, on these rotary, on these rotary compressors, the superheat's always high, mid 20s to 30, but it cools fine. I don't know, maybe I got 200 bad TXVs. I'm not a fan of these rotary compressors. I mean, it does that on pretty much all of them, high superheat, but subcool's about 12, so that's where I'll leave it. Had some HVAC guys say, oh, those are rated for 20 degree subcool. And then I've had other HVAC guys say, oh, those are rated for 9 degree subcool. So I'll just meet you guys in the middle and leave it at 12. It's leaking anyway. But that's it. We'll go inside and check for the leak now. I ain't gonna turn the unit off to do the leak search. Can't have the suction blowing the refrigerant around. It's got the old field piece SL SRL8. I always leave two links in the description below if you want to get you one. I will go with medium first. As you guys know, I have 200 leaking coils. They are all leaking. Oh, there we go, right up in there. So it was right along here. Let me go to H here. There it is. It's another leaker. They are all leaking. Yeah, so it's leaking. We'll add it to the list. I don't know if I had a troll or somebody come by, but maybe it was just a guy fresh, fresh gung ho out of his EPA class. He was all, you know, like, oh, it's illegal to leave them leaking. What you're doing is illegal. So. I'm just like, dude, it's a process. You got to get with the resident. You don't just start ripping and tearing. I have 200 leaking coils. So you got I've just got to take it slowly and get them cooling before I get there, you know, to keep them cool before I come around. So talking about I'm breaking the law and all this. How about this law? Stop, start holding these companies accountable for making this cheap crap that leaks a year later. How about that law? Gonna hold the technician accountable? No, no, I'm here to ch fix their cheap crap. Don't hold me accountable. Why not hold the company accountable? Making all this cheap mess, leaking Freon all over the place a year later. Unreal, these, these people. All right, off to the next adventure. All right, on this call, garbage disposal is not working. Maintenance man, job security for the next 30 years. These garbage disposals, the reset button. <clears throat> there is a reset button on the side here you'll hear it click oh I guess it's already uh already in oh it's just jammed up you can hear it buzzing when I hit the switch we got a jammer all right let me get the old jam bar out here see here there it is again I always leave tool links in the description below if you want to get you one now a lot of disposals have a like an allen wrench allen wrench doohickey that you could stick under the bottom here and you can spin it but this style doesn't have it this is a GE garbage disposal it doesn't have that on the bottom so on the ones that don't have it, got to break out the brake wrench. I 
do have this tool. This thing has pulled me out of many a jam. Many a jam. No pun intended there. Boosh! I like easy money, and this thing right here makes me easy money. Back in my rookie years, it'd be a giant flathead. Just like, just bending it all up. Not easy money. This right here, easy money. Easy money tool, I like to call them. Get a little water down in there. I think it'll be good to go, Skid. Off to the next adventure. I think we got us a clogged tub. Oh yeah, we got us a clogger here. This thing here is legit. Try to get that stopper out of there. This is very common as well in apartment maintenance. A lot of hair in the drains. Oh, this thing is down, no wonder. You gotta push down and then turn to the left. I get a lot of comments on videos like, how do I get the stopper out? It's just spinning. Push down and turn to the left. It usually helps when you can see it as well. I can't really see it here due to the soap. Get your butt out of there, skid. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I gotta push it down, turn to the left, and it'll start, it'll start unscrewing. I get that comment a lot. So on these, boy, this thing is really clogged. It still didn't start draining when I pulled the stopper out. I used the keyhole saw, also known as a sheetrock knife. Stick it into the drain and squirrel it like sketty. I say a lot of people say, why don't you use the the zippets? I don't like the zippets because they're messy to me. Ugh. Whoa! It's like Jaws, man. Yuck! Going in for round two. Woo! Smells like a skunk nailed to a dead man in here. Just in case you're wondering what it smells like. Oh my goodness! Smells like a fart farted. Still ain't got it on the clog. Usually you'll hear gurgling by now, draining. Come on now, settle down, settle down, now settle down. Gotta start talking to it like you're in a baseball game. There we go. I knew that would work. You gotta talk to it different, big dog. Let me see the swirl. Until we see PVC at the bottom. All right, I think that's it. Let me grab a light. Oh yeah. Once you got PVC, you're golden. All right. I think he needs a light bulb. We'll replace that. Let me throw the stopper back in. Give it a quick test. <sighs> we got gurglage, we got drainage. They're going to be good to go here. Very common work order in apartment maintenance, the old hairy drain. All right, and last but not least, so he's got a bulb out. Oh, yeah, right there.
All right, dudes. Those were some common work orders in apartment maintenance. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Yes.